Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and let's continue and check it out. This is what's between 6,000 and 7,000 kilohertz with hints of stations and things that you might want to try or tune to uh, if you want to listen to the bands and a big overview of you know what type of signals you can expect also in, in there. So of course the start of 6,000 kilohertz is the 49 meter band, one of the most popular and the most used international broadcast bands so here there's a the first signal is there's something always wrong at Radio Havana Cuba 6000 kilohertz is, this is Cuba but with absolutely no audio right now um, Radio Martí on 6030 here in Canada we have two stations in that range that you can try they're tough uh, one is tougher than the other uh, there's 6030, which also which has uh, the um, CFVP, I believe, is the uh, call sign, the call letters of the station in Alberta. And, of course, uh, 6070 is a little easier. 6070, which is the um, CFRX Toronto. So this seems to be CFRX. In Europe, you guys might hear channel 292 on that frequency. Um, 6080 is uh, often uh, Voice of America. 6050 is uh, the last remaining frequency of HCJB Quito, Ecuador, from Ecuador. Uh, here is Japan via France, 6105. Um, 6160 is WBCQ, almost 24 hours, basically. And here is uh, Radio Educación from Mexico, 6185. Not too bad of a signal. Um, so propagation isn't that great tonight. There's a lot more signals than that sometimes. Uh, it is one of the most used bands, so hour after hour from late afternoon, evening, and all night, do tune around here. You'll see stations come in and out, uh, BBC World Service, 6005, uh, and, and so many other signals uh, that can be heard on that band. It's pretty cool. And, of course, there's the uh, different times of the year when schedule changes. Other stations take place here, and some in the summertime go higher. Uh, but... Almost every shortwave broadcaster is using this band at some point in time on their schedules. Um, then we have the upper, the upper part of that band is kind of technically utility, 6200 to 6300. But in Europe, it's a very popular pirate band. So if you're in Europe, check it out. There's a lot of pirates here, and some of them sometimes make it to North America. So it's worth checking out. Uh, around 63... Uh, 39, 63, 40. Not very strong right now, but uh, this is the Boston Weather Facts Station. So this is something to check out. Um, a lot of what you have next to that is a lot of marine stations. There's a marine broadcasts um, that are in here. So things to check out. Uh, different things that can pop up here and there, some uh, marine channel markers and so on. And it continues like that up to uh, 6501, is one of the notable frequencies for marine weather broadcast from Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, so there's quite a few things in there to check it, to check out on, on the bands for sure. So do, uh, do tune around and see what you can hear. Uh, 6604 is one that is interesting. Every uh, 20th uh, and 50th minute of the hour, you can hear Gander, Newfoundland, Canada in here, which is often heard. Uh, so 6607, if you hear Morse code, you might hear, and we're hearing it right now. So this is VVV, which is calling all stations. 
from 4XZ. This is the Haifa Israel uh, Marine Station, but um, has often coded messages in Morse code. So these are all things to check out. 6754. Trenton, Ontario, Canada, military station with weather. There are some aeronautical uh, frequencies in here, so lots of utilities uh, from, uh, you know, 6300, 6200 up to 68, 6900, lots of interesting stuff, military stuff, Mars stations, uh, military auxiliary radio system, as we call them. And as we go up in frequency, you will find one of the very, very, very active and popular uh, bands, which is the pirate band for North America. So North America, anywhere from 6850-ish and, and up to 7,000 kilohertz, pirate band. And it's active in the weekends and the weekdays. Uh, there's almost no evening that there's at least not at least one or two stations in here. Of all the pirate stations or ba pirate bands you can find, this is the most active. And it's the place to start if you want to hear some pirate stations for sure. And, of course, it's a utility band, so it might have other things in there. But a lot of pirates are using it. So check that from 6850-ish to 7000 kilohertz for pirates. Some in AM mode, some in single sideband. Remember that all utilities should be uh, listened to in upper sideband. And, of course, the international broadcast band is uh, AM mode. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.